Hello Aries, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your August 2019 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Gosh, it was such an interesting, let's say, month. <laughs> Last month, I so welcome in August. And I hope things are better for all of you too. Oops, so let's take a little shuffle here. It says you got uh, what you asked for. It says it's a good time for you to manifest. You're going to be making some choices. And it says have no fear. You're going to choose without fear. And when you do that, you're going to get exactly what you want. Things are going to come quickly to you. So beware when you ask. Be careful what you ask for. Um, please remember this is a general reading. And if you'd like one just about you, please contact my website. I have included the uh, link down below. And I've also included the uh, Instant Go link if you just have a question or two. You might want to also check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And let's see what's coming up for you, Aries. Looks like it's a good time to do some retrospect thinking, looking back on how you got to where you are so you don't repeat the same um, mistakes, possibly. And rather than asking, oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? It might be a good way just to change your words to say, what lesson am I learning here? It might be make things a little easier for you. That feeling of not knowing which way to go. Should I stay on my job? Should I quit? Should I stay at home? Should I leave? All of those thoughts you're going to have answers very quickly for. And then just think about them before, you know, don't act hastily. Make sure that you think it through of the things that you want to do. And if you are thinking about leaving your job, remember it's easier to find one when you have one. It says, and then this here speaking about work too, whatever you've learned at the current position you're on will be valuable to you at another place. Maybe it's not the exact thing you're doing, but it's possibly the way things were done, something similar to that. But it says, remember, whenever we hold on to energy tight, boom, whether it be love or money, it disappears. So you have to let it flow freely. Not saying you got to go spend out your bank, you know, savings or something like that. But when we hoard or uh, focus on lack of, we get more of that. Same with love. When we hold it so tight and don't let it flow freely, it certainly um, could disappear. Sun card is here, which means you're going to be choosing things that bring you joy. Um, if you're wanting to move or might even possibly be travel, Make those plans this month because it could be very um, uh, clear how, how you're going to go about doing that. If it's travel, you're going to make some serious plans. And yes, I feel the finances will be there for you. I don't know that you travel this month, but plans certainly could be made for that. And if you're wanting to move, take your time because you're going to find the place that, that's uh, relatively uh, not inexpensive but less than you think. And you're going to be quite happy wherever you go to. So it's like you're either moving for work or you get, need a bigger or a smaller place, something like that, but it's, it looks like it's going to show up for you. It says major change for you um, in some areas, such as believing in yourself. You, um, it says your intuition is really good right now, so trust if you feel like you need to change something, whether it be your attitude, the way you look, how you feel, how you view things. It says this is just a real good time for that. And don't let anyone take your thoughts, wants, and wishes from you. It says abundance is quite near to you, but I also have the pregnancy card. So if you're wanting pregnancy, hallelujah. If you're not, you know what not to do. It says you're going to have help from people around you. And don't be afraid to ask. You know, that you're always there to help others, but maybe this time you need to reach out and ask it for some help for yourself, whether it be moving, you know, talking, whatever it might be. It says your excuses are gone now. You're learning how to stand up in a good way. You're going to learn, or, or not that you don't always do it, but you're going to speak your truth and kind of put yourself first for what you say. Meaning that um, you're going to quit saying yes all the time to people and learn how to say no in a, in a very kind way. It says it doesn't matter what's gone. Can't change the past, but the future is, and, and today is right here. It says you have spirit help with choices you're going to make. Again, more, more choices for you coming. And it's like you get it. It's like, oh my gosh, I see what I need to do now. And um, it's, it's going to be quite easy for you. Um, Celebrations definitely coming this month for you. And I feel like you're going to feel like a victor. And a lot of times how we feel has a lot to do with how the day is. If you could just find one small thing to have gratitude in the morning before you get up, the whole day can be fantastic. It says wishes granted. You have the nine of uh, cups. Alms dispensed with justice. I feel there's going to be an improvement or an adjustment that you make to your income 
that seems to have more money in your hand. So maybe you're going to have more money or cash for, for uh, some fun, which would be really good for you too at this time. It says, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, walk the path of a different person because you're an Aries, you're a pioneer. You have a way of seeing things other people sometimes can't see. If you did have an argument with somebody or you may be having one, know that you're going to be heard. But if it hasn't happened yet, choose your words wisely because sometimes words hurt more. That They're kind of like weapons if we're not careful. And if you did already have this agreement, you have been, uh, agreement, argument you have been heard, but also don't be afraid to apologize, Aries. It's, you know, it might be the uh, thing that someone's waiting for. With that said, Wheel of Fortune is yours. Victory this month could be really, really good for you. I so appreciate you dropping by, Aries. And let's hope that August is much better than July. Okay? So, again, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and I'll see you again next month.